Today, we're going to be taking a look at this 7 foot 3 Victor Wembenyama build on NBA 2K25. And I got to say, just to give you guys a hint, the 7 threes are back. But with that being said, man, let me show you guys this Victor Wembenyama build. Let's get started. All right. So, as mentioned in the title and the intro of this video, this build is 7 foot 3 minimum weight. So, 230 pounds with an 8 foot wingspan. Now, first things first, this is a Wemby specific build. This is an NBA player type of build. So, if you see low strength on this build, it's for a very specific reason i'm trying to mimic wemby you don't have to make this build but if you want to make a wemby build here's how you can make it all right so starting things off in the finishing we're going to have an 80 driving layup which gets us the Giannis layup package a 75 driving dunk to get us the athletic one handers off one dunk package which is really good you also get Giannis, carl anthony towns and then a 90 standing dunk which is going to get you the elite big man standing contact dunks as long with gold rise up and then a 70 post control for post fade phenom on silver now, i just want to point out and i'm going to mention this again at some other point in the video the gameplay i didn't get full long form gameplays that i normally do this is going to be kind of like how i did my old videos simply because the servers were a little wonky i couldn't really get through full games a whole lot of times so this is just going to be a couple clips here and there but trust me you're definitely going to see a much longer gameplay version of this video in the future all right so now let's get to the finishing highlights right here we're going to go for the put back force it in light pressure so i mean hey we can make those go in right here open on the break catch go straight up with it and it's an easy standing dunk as you guys are going to see later on in this video lobs are really good in this year's game catch the ball drive there's that Giannis layup get the foul and one just scoop right into the paint with that seven foot three body frame you can definitely get pretty lengthy on this build cut right here to the paint easy standing dunk once again that 90 standing dunk is going to be really nice on this build we're going to blow by somebody on a seven three hit a euro over two people and it's open i mean all right all right sure thing but hey another standing dunk right there and i'm not gonna lie mobility wise this Wemby build didn't really feel too bad it didn't feel as slow as the seven threes did last year even with the added court spacing especially in 5v5 mode and speaking of 5v5 this is a seven foot three center so i don't really recommend that you take this to 3v3 mode but that was pretty cool off the triple threat that's that curry triple threat and i'm definitely going to talk about that in more of like an animations video at some other point that stuff curry triple threat is really good especially for bigs but look at the lob right there that was absolutely insane all right so now let's move on to the shooting portion of this video and yeah you're not gonna have crazy shooting on this build if you don't think you're confident in shooting on this game i don't recommend that you make this build okay now this is the second time that i've said this this is a very specific nba player type of build and i'm not saying that it's meta in the slightest but we're gonna have a 78 mid-range shot and a 73 three-point shot you'll have badges like set shot specialist on silver and a couple of other three-point and mid-range scoring badges we also get post fade phenom on silver like we mentioned earlier now you can do some interesting things with the plus ones maybe you plus one set shot specialist to gold but as you're gonna see later on in this video i did something else with my max plus one that really made this build insane on the defensive end but now let's get to those shooting highlights and i don't have a crazy amount of them but right here catching it on the hash and sparking it you know we weren't shooting super great on this build the servers weren't great i was still trying to learn how to shoot with this new jump shot so you're gonna see the three point percentages they're not super high but i ain't gonna lie i, I would like to think that i'm a relatively decent shooter so when i'm not shooting too great it's because because of the shooting just kind of being a little hard but that's okay it's a new game we don't have a whole lot of badges we don't know what jump shots are good but i still think for the most part this build will be viable when shooting from three if you put the time in get your badges get your lethals and you will be okay and again i was playing the, the, on this build during the launch of 2k when the servers were really really bad so yeah that made things a little tough all right so now let's get through the easiest part of this build playmaking 75 pass accuracy gets you break starter on silver 40 ball handle for the normal dribble moves 40 speed with ball for the normal dribble style now if you don't think you can't move with 40 ball handle 40 speed with ball just just uh go play around in the my player builder tester and go freestyle a little bit throw on the normal behind the back and start doing a little standstill dribbling i think you'll be able to see the concept here especially considering the contest system in this game is uh interesting and if you even have just a little bit of space you're gonna be able to get up an open shot all right so now moving on to that playmaking right here we're gonna grab this rebound and we're gonna just launch it up the court in yeah easy wide open fast break easy assist 75 pass accuracy is going to be what i like to call and i've called in a previous 2k serviceable it's going to get the job done nice white there by the way you can hit whites like crazy and wreck not sure if i like that because i've i've because i 
have lost games watching people hit whites and uh yeah it's not a great sight to see those go in again but again it's wreck it's a much easier more casual game mode so i guess for some people it's a good thing that whites can go in especially if you're playing on lower risk shooting modes but it's kind of frustrating if i gotta play on high risk and green all my shots and then i'm watching people hit whites but now let's move on to the defense of this build 85 interior defense for off ball pest on gold 63 perimeter defense just so we can move around a little bit get some good contests and whatnot 60 steel for the bronze interceptor and boy oh boy on a 7-3 with an 8 foot wingspan you're gonna see some pretty crazy lane steals 97 block for paint patroller on hall of fame you could obviously use cap breakers to get it up to legend but we're gonna be using our max plus one in today's video to get that paint patroller on legend we also used it on high flying denier so we have legend paint patroller and gold high flying denier on a 7 foot 3 which is pretty freaking wild 70 offensive rebound 92 defensive rebound that's gonna get you gold rebound chases that's another thing that you could potentially cap break up to a higher level so you put four into defensive rebound get that 96 defensive rebound for hall of fame rebound chaser so there's a lot of potential with this build for future proofing and whatnot and uh yeah now let's get to the defensive highlights all right man so now here is the best part of this build is the defensive capabilities and as you guys may have noticed passing lane steals on nba 2k25 are actually pretty freaking wild and if somebody's in the right spot and they click on and get that lane you are definitely going to get that passing lane steal and as you see right there with an eight foot wingspan you can definitely get in a whole lot of passing lanes right here definitely can't really go up against this player and try and mash on him either i'm gonna be taller than pretty much everybody i'm guarding and i'm gonna get really good contests with that legend paint patrol right here throw the brakes to the small four and whatnot but yeah lane steals once again very very good it's rare that if you get go for a lane steal that the pass is just gonna whiz past your head if you click on to get the steal you're gonna get it more often than not and that's from somebody who's not even really too great at getting lane steals i don't think i'm too good at it i've been told i'm not too good at it by some specific people but hey it is what it is but yeah not nah, defensively builds absolutely insane the rim protection is going to be crazy even if you only have hall of fame paint patroller on this build it's going to be pretty freaking solid but in today's video we max plus one that bad boy all the way up to the legend level and we are definitely getting a serious amount of blocks on this build right here look at this chase them down there's that gold high flying denier so even on the break you can still definitely hawk somebody down and get the block but i'm actually kind of glad that the defense really is this good on this build simply because you have to sacrifice a whole lot to be seven foot three be kind of slow and whatnot but this build still moves pretty freaking well this is definitely the fastest the seven three has moved since I'd even argue 22 next gen. I think these 7.3s are a little bit faster, at least in like a relative to game speed wise, because previous games like 23, 22 were way faster game speeds. But in relative like to game speed, this is probably the fastest a 7.3 has moved since like 22 next gen. So they're definitely nimble, still not the most meta type of build, but that's all the defensive highlights right there. But now let's get back into the My Player Builder and talk about a couple of maybe potential changes that we could do with this build. Because I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I I, I think I did pretty good for the first attempt for this Wemby build. I'm genuinely confident that if I wanted to, I could keep this Wemby build for the rest of the year and it would be 100% fine and play exactly the way that I need to. And I actually hope that I can do that. You know, I've, I've made a lot of versions of the same builds in previous 2Ks and it kind of hurts the wallet here and there. So if I could just make one version, get it right and keep it like that and just do content throughout that like 2K cycle with just that one build, hey, that, that, that would be great. All right, so now coming out the my player builder we're getting shades of victor Wembanyama, walker kessler and ralph samson on this build two really cool shades with Wemby and ralph samson and we're gonna get the build name two way inside the arc thread i hope you guys enjoyed this video and again if you guys are at the end of this video i do want to point out once again we will have more gameplay dropping of this build relatively soon but until then man i'm out peace